Hey y'all, Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates. I've been preaching pretty hot and heavy here lately, so I thought I'd just give a quick little perspective and maybe something a little less intense than my earlier videos. Um, I'm listening to a book on, on Audible called The Innovator's Solution. And then a couple years ago I read The Innovator's Dilemma, which was a phenomenal book. Uh, but I recommend you pick up the book Innovator's Solution. And they talk about um, how disruptive technologies or disruptive companies come to be, and and you know how how did transistors overpower the 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 market for for vacuum tube stuff? Anyway, it's just incredibly phenomenal. My takeaway today, as I'm driving back from Prineville from a loss, is what he said was. You don't want to compete against, if any new technology you want to bring onto the market or new product or whatever else, you don't want to compete against incumbents. Your biggest competition is going to be non, uh, non-consumption. You're competing with someone. You're competing with something that doesn't exist. You're, you're competing in a market that doesn't exist yet, right? So what was iPhone competing with before they came onto the market? You know, people didn't know they needed an iPhone because the technology didn't exist. You're, you're competing with, with non-consumption, all right? So when you want to bring something into the restoration world, you know, let's, let's bring it home. I've got a couple products out there, and, and I've, I've got a couple more cooking about, about how to truly change industry through, through technology and process and things like that. My target market needs to be non-consumers meaning those folks that aren't currently doing restoration. It is the most fertile field for new ideas. It's also the least risky because the product doesn't have to be mainstream, right? We have in our restoration companies now, we have three or four different major computer software companies, right? That are going after the mainstream restoration market. Well, their product has to be very, very good in order to win a customer from a competition or to gain a new customer in this market. But if you had a software product that wasn't quite up to par but did the basics that you needed and you took it to maybe an industry that was that was capable of doing restoration but didn't had had no clue how to do restoration, like plumbers, let's not forget the last couple of videos. That software product would not have to be as good as the current products on the market. They would just have to solve the problem in a different way and do the job as the innovator solution says everyone hires a service to do a job or a product to do a job. And in this situation it would be how do I fulfill the job of a plumber making a 30% more revenue this year on an, a, a related field? Well your software product might solve that, might, might fill that job that someone wants to hire it for and it could be incredibly profitable and then long term that that software product or that service turns into something that's even better than the current providers because they're able to start small and pivot and move faster than any incumbent ever could or wanted to so there's my there's my speech bend oregon is beautiful don't move here sucks Take care, guys.